guys hope you're all doing well so i am excited because we have a shop miss a haul okay if you don't know what shop miss a is it is a everything used to be a dollar but it is an online kind of like miscellaneous type of uh online dollar store but they have really really interesting makeup products they used to be a dollar um they have still have plenty of things for a dollar um but most of the better products are about 155 or 188 they have really good blending sponges they have a lot of stuff i'm gonna link the website down below i love it you could get lost in there the free shipping threshold is usually like 35 dollars and you're getting a bunch of stuff including really good makeup some things that i've really liked um they have household items they have hair care products they have accessories it's really fun. It's a really fun website to waste some time and some money on um, and not break the bank. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I have. It is mostly makeup. I'm going to show you the non-makeup things first. Um, uh, and let's, let's get into it. We'll do some swatches and different things. Let's do it. So for my kitchen, I, I keep breaking them. They were, they're a dollar. They're a dollar and fifty cents. And when I say keep breaking them, I've broken two over two years. This thing here is the... Um, water saving faucet sprayer i have a normal kitchen faucet a normal thing i don't have in my back in my kitchen i don't um have like a, sh a shop all that we could install one just whatever it's not it's not a big problem till i till i need it but this thing the last one i had lasted for a year until i like physically broke it by mistake um, <laughs> look 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 until I, I hate that i drop things um it's like not cute um, so this slips onto your faucet and you tighten it with this and it extends when water is in it it extends and when you turn the faucet on this little fan spins and you got a little shower and the last one was coming up on a year until i hit i i'm like a gorilla i have gorilla hands um so that's what happened and I bought, they're less than $2, I think $1.55. Um, and I bought three more. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's for my kitchen. For the bathroom, for when I wash my hair. Oh, this feels so good. Um, everything here, full price, except one thing, is either $1.88 or $1.55 everything i don't know which was which just want to get it out of the way some things i got like in a bundle all the colors but individually this is oh it feels so good it's to shampoo your hair i've never had one of these before now that i'm relaxed i'm a little more bougie <laughs> but it feels really good i wasn't expecting it to be this thick feeling this this sturdy feeling um but it's a shampoo hair massage scalp massager when you shampoo your hair Getting into the beauty things, I got one little tool here. I got a hand palette. It's so cute. So it goes on your hand. And so you mix and pump everything instead of on the back of your hand. I use the back of my hand or one of these little metal palettes. So I have to remember to pull this one out. But Okay. And their house brand is AOA Studio. I think everything I have here, almost everything I have here is their AOA line. Um, I believe. And let's get into it. Oh, I lied. I lied. There's a couple more non-makeup. I picked up this travel mirror. This is called the this Shatterproof Folding Travel Mirror. I'm not going to test if it's tra um, shatterproof or not. So you open it up. It's covered. There's a, there's a film on it. Hold on. Let's peel it. Let's peel it together. Um, oh, man. No, now I have to. So, it's just a folding. This case is like leather. It's a leather material. Woohoo. And it folds. I don't know how it would stand up. Oh, I think. <laughs> Stands up some kind of way. But anyway, shatterproof folding travel mirror. I need a small travel mirror for when I travel because I don't really have one. All mine are big or I do have a bigger handheld one that is not shatterproof and I'm scared to put that in the bag. So this will come in handy. It will come in handy. I got a puff. Um, this is, it's called a sponge, but this is their Silky Cloud sponge. 
and it's so soft. It looked like a cloud. It looked like a pillow on the website, and I put one in my cart. It feels really nice. I bought a couple of sponges like this from Amazon, and I really wanted them to work. I love the way they felt, but my nails were too long at the time to really appreciate them. So we'll try again. But this is really soft. It feels like a marshmallow. Yeah. All right, so the only makeup products that weren't in that less than $2 category are these um, foundations from the A2O Lab. A2O Labs, they have these soft matte foundations in the liquid pump. They were $4. I got two shades because I didn't know. I got T3 and I got B2. I'm not going to swatch on my face because I am testing something else on my face. Uh, but I think they'll work. This is T3. I'll make it work. I will make it work. Okay. Hold on. And D2. Yeah, that one's good too. That one's deeper. See D2? I have a stain on my hand from a lip stain. Don't worry about it. So yeah, it's going to work. Those mixed together look like it'll be perfect. It claims to be a matte foundation. I... That's all I know. Soft matte foundation. Huh. For all skin types, creamy, blendable, flawless finish. Cruelty free. I believe all of um, a the whole website's cruelty free. Sticking with the face stuff, I got a lot of face stuff. We'll do the lips um, last. I got a lot of face stuff. Let's continue with the foundations that I have here. Okay, let me pull out. Ooh, really excited about that. Really excited about these. Can't wait to show you. Okay, so the foundations um, I have, I am on a hunt. So I've tried a few AOA Studio foundations, um, and they're okay. They're not like the worst things I've ever tried. I've tried a few of their $2 foundations. They're flawless line. This is the concealer I'm going to show you, but they have this in a foundation. I've tried a couple, and they're just okay. I mean, they're okay for $2. They're just okay. They're okay in general. I want something good. I want to say, yeah, I'm wearing a $2 foundation, and it's a bomb. We're going to try. I'm just, I don't know. So these two new ones, this is the Complexion Liquid Foundation. Pure, uh, what's it called? Pure? Yeah, Pure Complexion Liquid Foundation. I got two I got two shades of everything pretty much because I don't, you know, you don't know. And for $1.88, okay. Uh, this says Pure Creamy Formula, Pure Coverage, Pure Blendability. What does pure mean? That's weird. Pure cover. I've never heard of that before. What is pure coverage? What the hell? And I got D2 and D1. Pure Coverage. Shade's gonna work. Oh, okay. Already on my hand. That's giving full coverage. Is that is that what pure coverage is? <laughs> I don't know, but I want to try them, and we're gonna be wearing them. Um, so we have that one, and then we have. Come on, can you imagine finding your holy grail foundation for a dollar eighty eight cent, and you can go just buy backups and have the backups and. Uh, okay okay exciting then the next one i'm excited about this one this is the aoa studio matte vision high def foundation love the packaging love that it's in a squeeze tube high def foundation so this one says matte camera ready hd high def come through come through <laughs> make it forever hd who um i picked up d1 and d2 in this as well and since i um Let's see. The swatching one. Yeah, they're going to work. The shades are going to work. That pure coverage got me. Oh, yeah. Here's one of them. Covered that stain right up. We're looking promising. We're looking promising with these swatches and feeling them out. Um, the other foundations that I tried weren't even this much coverage on the back of the hand. So, this is exciting. This is exciting. But we need to see, we need to test them all. 
test them out every which way we can, okay? So that's the matte vision, okay? All right, those are the foundations. I did get a primer. This is their Cosmic Cowgirl. They have like they have like branded um like themed collections as well. This is the Cosmic Cowgirl Skin Grip Primer. Hey, grip in it. Let's see what it's about. Ooh, skinny squeeze tube. It looks like it's giving a little bit of iridescence. Um, and even when I squirted it on my hand, it smells like lotion. I'm gonna rub it in. It's a white. Primer. See, I'm trying to rub it in here. It's not feeling tacky yet. That doesn't mean anything. I think, is it Smashbox or... No. Um. Oh, it has some tack to it now. I blended it out. It has some tack to it. Not as much as a Power Grip or a Milk Hydro Grip. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, I think Smashbox and then what is the other brand? The, the Ordinary has like a high adherence primer that's not necessarily tacky, but anyway, excited. I'm really excited about these things. With that Cosmic Cowgirl line, I guess, is this Cosmic Cowgirl as well? No, that's a different collection. Okay, okay. So that's the primer there. We got um, some concealer. So this is one of the foundations I've tried before. This is their Flawless line. Um and it's a liquid it, it was a liquid foundation i they didn't have concealer at the time where i missed it or i completely forgot i own these but i checked my inventory and i didn't own them so these are the flawless liquid concealers i grabbed two shades i grabbed t1 and t3 do they have claims on them no 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 claims while the packaging is not boring on these products, it's not like everything all, like super descriptive, not a lot of writing on them always. Um, yeah, so you have to look, the ingredients are always on the website, but like, this didn't come in a box or anything. It was just wrapped in some clear plastic and the ingredients and stuff aren't on here, but they're all on the website. Um, so that is T1 and then we got T3. I love this long skinny tube. For it though I do okay t1 t3 or t3 t1 did I do that the wrong way all right and then we have the locked creamy concealer this is definitely new to me the locked creamy concealer don't know I got DW1 and and MW2 so MW2, NW2 is right here, and DW1. There are swatches, pretty good swatches, I'd say. This one's deeper. Pretty good swatches on their website on varying skin tones. And faces, not just like arm swatches, but their fa each shade has like a face swatch, a model. Um... I don't know if it's untouched, unretouched. I think they are. I think that the pictures are not touched, retouched, photoshopped. Um, so that's the concealers. Where are we here? We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. I got some foundation, some shade adjusters. They come in four colors. I bought the pack, the bundle, um, for like $5. <laughs> These are the shade adjusting drops. They, I swatch these. They have more pigment. I, I, I don't know why I was thinking they'd be cheap. I know I gotta stop sleeping on it. Shot me say, but I swatch. Let me just swatch one so you can see. They are shade adjusting drops. Custom mixture foundation and concealers. Um, yeah, we have white, we have black, we have red, and we have blue. Um. Let's show you. So adjust things. And these are gonna go in my little quick grab drawer up here with my color correctors and things like that. So I'm gonna just squeeze a drop. Oh, too much. So if you're having a high coverage foundation, and granted, you don't need this to be high coverage to adjust, but look at that. It's yeah, they have pigment, so they're gonna. They're going to add. They're going to work, I, I believe. 
color theory, they should work. You're mixing something. <laughs> I think they should. So again, we have red, blue, white, and black. Super exciting. Super exciting. And then we have, let's move on to, well, let's move on to contour first. We're almost done. Um, contour. I tried one of the uh, Venetian Romance Creamy Bronzers. This is like one of their themed collections. I tried it in the shade. Was I pulled it out. This is um, Santa Maria. And on the website, the swatches are pretty good. This one looked a little darker than what I thought it was. But I'm going to try it anyway. This is um, Canal. So I didn't have this one. And it's a creamy bronzer. We'll see how bronze it is. But it's okay. Love things in jars. So we have another creamy bronzer. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get into these blush drops. Um, I didn't get all the shades, and I'm glad I didn't. These are the, what are they called? <laughs> I Heart Do. I Heart D-E-W blush drops, okay? They're meant to be a dewy finish blush drop. Um, I believe the swatches were true to the website. And they look like sheer flushes of color. I like a lot of blush. Um, so I, I still wanted to try them. So I got three shades. I got Sassy. Oh, I'm Sassy. So let me just show you. You have to you have to break the the seal like a like a soda. I like that. So I'm gonna put a big dollop, a big dollop of blush, and I've already tried these and blend it out. You're definitely gonna get it shears out. See, even though that seems like a lot, it shears out. Um. So I think if someone wants to try liquid blush um, and are scared of, you know, too much pigment with your rare beauties and your devious places, uh, we'll see how long these last. But if they last good, then this is something that you don't have to be worried about having too heavy of a hand with. So that one is sassy. We also have foxy and hottie. Foxy is a fuchsia pink and then hottie is a bright coral pink I didn't swatch that one. Look at that. cute cute I really want those foundations to blow me away <laughs> I do I really do I really do um, all right, let's do the lips first because I'm really excited about this last item, about this powder. Um, they had a Magical Girl collection uh, and they had, they had iridescent lip glosses. I know I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back to, I don't know when, Claire's, I don't know, but they looked so pretty online and I got the whole bundle for like five bucks and some change. Um, and these are iridescent lip glosses. And this is the set of them. And let's do it. Let's 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 see. Let's see what they're giving. All right. So this first one is called Nishida. It's iridescent. Let's go through them really quickly. That's Nishida. This next one is called. Yosai, Y-O-S-E-I. Oh, that's pretty. That has, looks like it has a little bit of glitter in it, which, okay. All right. They're pretty. They're gonna make good toppers. This next one is Kira, Kira Meki. Okay. Then we have, uh-oh, this one's blending. Koneko. This one appears to have some glitter in it as well. Pretty though. And then finally, this last pretty shade is 
Maho. That's giving this. I got to see how this is going to look over my um, MAC Blue Brown lipstick. My, what is it called? My Katrina from LA Splash, Day of the Dead. <laughs> oh, that looks good. That looks good. That's giving, giving a little dual chromatic situation. So yeah, those are some iridescent lip glosses. And I'm very excited to have them in my collection. <laughs> All right. So then this last thing, I had to try it. AOA Studio again. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's do the lipsticks. Let's do the lipsticks. I have four lipsticks from their Venetian Romance line. Um, I didn't get these when I was trying the blushes from the Venetian. What well, for whatever reason. I got four shades. Um, these are nice. So look at the tube. They, and actually I have to price them. They were $1.88 a piece. Look at the tube and you think you pull. No, you have to twist this. It has a little bit of a... What is this called? What is this called when something's on a screw? Threading! I wasn't going to be able to sleep tonight if I didn't get that. Alright, this... Let's go through the shades. I think they're all matte. Um, This is Regent. R-E-G-E-N-T. Oh, good twist up. Good. good beautiful matte lip. Let's swatch. Yep. Oh. Oh, that feels good. That feels good and thick, but not in a bad way. That feels like a good matte lipstick. All right. All right. We'll see. I'll be the judge. Um, Gelato is the next one. And this is like a coral. But it's not really. It's a red. <laughs> the, the, the top of the lipstick looks like a coral. They feel good. They're matte. They feel nice. They feel good. I wonder if they have any nudes in this. They feel good. We're feeling good. This next one is Polly. P O L L Y. Bomb nude. This is a bomb, cool nude. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Soft. I like that. I like the way these feel. We'll see how they feel on the lips. And then this last one I got is Dulce. It's a deep one. It's deep. It's deep. She's, she's, she's deeper. Look at those four. Beautiful matte shades. Oh, they feel nice. They feel rich. <laughs> they feel luxurious. I, I, and the, the, the lipstick tube has some weight to it. Okay. I'm so excited. So, AOA Studio, their flawless line, the same line with this stuff, they have a face powder. They have some loose setting powder. What was it called? Setting and finishing loose powder. They have loose powder from the AOA line already in a little circle jar. But these I got excited about because they are giving, you know, Givenchy and there's a few other dupes that have these like four colors swirled together. Look at how cute this is. Now, now, we already see this. On the website, I did not know they were this small. <laughs> and they're going in. I have to keep playing with them to make sure I like them. But they're going in the mini makeup collection. They're not a mini size. This is the only size they make. But look at how small. This one's not open yet. Look at how small the powder is. Like, I just, I, I, I squealed with delight when I opened my package and I saw how small these were. Like, it makes sense. They're selling them for $1.88. But, like, so I bought the whole bunch. They have four shades and I bought all of them because I thought I could make them work. Now, this is the, except the fair. <laughs> this is the fair. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this one. This could, I could set my face with this under foundation or something if I really want a mattified look. Or whatever, I'll figure it out. But that's fair. I used medium today. Medium is the one that's open because medium gives off, this one's open, so let's be careful. Medium is giving off a pinky tone. And we, the kids are setting their under eyes with pink powder now, thus I am as well. Um, not all the time, but that's an option. And I did set my under eyes with this powder today, and that's medium. Okay, I skipped light. This is light. I am a, this is more giving of the yellow tones I like to set my under eye with. So that's what that one's going to be used for, okay? Oh, God. Look, and it's so 
cute. A mini loose powder in this gray four compartment. Oh my gosh. And then finally they have deep, which would be my skin tone, I believe. Eh. Mm, mm. We swirl it around, but it's deep. I know I can get away with this one. So, $1.80 for a little loose powder. And it makes me so happy. These little teeny tiny powders, they're going in the makeup collection. Um, the mini makeup collection. And I'm also working on curating the perfect mini makeup bag. So the looks I've been doing with my mini makeup is I did a video with the tiniest makeup. Um, in my color, the actual tiniest products, but now I'm going to curate like the best out of all of my minis, still the best flawless glam face with what I have in mini without like packing a whole bunch of options, just trying to have it streamlined where it fits in a small bag. I could literally pop a whole face in my purse. I want to curate that out of the minis that I have working on that, but I hope these are really good. I hope they're good. I hope they're really good. So. That is my shop, Miss A Hall. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!